Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to prove that cosine of theta all divided by 1 minus sine theta plus 1 minus sine theta all divided by cosine of theta is identical to 2 sec theta. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution or you might want to fast forward just to check out your method. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. And as usual, I'll just put up here proof. And which side do we take? Well, in this example, we've got clearly here two terms and we've got to reduce it down to one term. And I feel it's going to be easier then to take both of these two fractions. They're more complicated than what we've got to prove. So we'll take the left hand side. So we've got the cosine of theta all divided then by 1 minus sine theta and plus the second term 1 minus sine theta all divided by cosine theta. Okay, so what's this going to be identical to? Well, we haven't got a fraction here, so I'm going to need to group these two fractions over one common denominator. So uh, let's just put that denominator down. What's it going to be? Well, it'll be cosine of theta times with 1 minus sine theta. So we'll put cosine theta then, bracket 1 minus sine theta. So what do we multiply 1 minus sine theta with to give this fraction? So it's going to be cosine theta here. So we multiply the top by cosine theta and that's going to give us cos squared theta. Then we've got plus and then for this fraction multiply cosine theta with 1 minus sine theta to get that denominator. So we need to multiply the top again with 1 minus sine theta. So we're going to get 1 minus sine theta times another 1 minus sine theta. I'll just put the two brackets out, okay, just in case it's a problem expanding it. Okay, so uh, we've got that. So we've got to expand these two brackets. So we've got cos squared theta for the first term. Expanding the brackets, we've got 1 times 1, which is 1, and then we've got 1 times minus sine theta, which is minus sine theta. Then we've got minus another sine theta, so that's minus 2 sine theta, and then we've got minus sine theta times minus sine theta, which is plus sine squared theta. And all of this is divided by, and I don't want to multiply out the brackets here, it's always a good idea to leave your denominator as one term, okay? So, uh, We'll just leave it as cosine theta multiplied by 1 minus sine theta. Okay, one term consisting of two factors then. Cos theta as one factor and 1 minus sine theta as the other. So this is going to be identical to, well, we should recognize by now that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is identical to 1. So we've got then one here plus another one there, so that's going to be two, and then we've got minus two sine theta. And this is all divided by the cosine of theta times one minus sine theta. And you might be able to start seeing where this is going at this stage. If we pull out two as a common factor now on the top, we've got 2 bracket 1 minus sine theta. And in the denominator now, we've got cosine of theta, also multiplied with 1 minus sine theta. So we've got a common factor here of 1 minus sine theta on the top and on the bottom. So that's why it was a good idea not to expand this. So that leaves us with 2 divided by cosine theta. 
2 times 1 over cosine theta. 1 over cosine theta is the same as sec theta. So what we end up with is 2 sec theta. OK, so I hope you're able to do that one. If not, that you've been able to see how to do it.